I think sports saloons can do everything that you want from a car. And for some reason, they're being ignored in the modern market. Everybody's getting these compact SUVs or these hatchbacks in preference to any saloon with the excuse of practicality. But their argument as to why it's not practical doesn't really make any sense. Usually it's the shape of the bloody boot. And I'm just thinking, you're an idiot. I think something that contributes to this is people are walking into any dealership and just getting convinced by the salesman to buy whatever's just come out a hatchback or a slightly raised hatchback SUV crossover micro thing, whatever it is. If you actually look out there, what's for sale classed as a saloon, whether it's a you know small executive saloon or even the luxury ones, there is so much choice. And when you can get estate versions of many of them, it just makes you think, why wouldn't you get that? Especially when they're around the price range of any SUV and most hatchbacks at the minute. Because if you think an A-class is starting from nearly 30 grand new, and you're looking at saloons, the C-class is only 34 grand. And when you're talking that kind of price difference, that isn't much difference. If you're dropping or leasing that amount of money, why are you getting the hatchback? If you go in the executive compact stuff, you've got Mercedes with a C-class, you've got BMW with a 3 Series, you've got Audi with an A4, Volvo are coming out with a really nice X S60, the Alfa Giulia. And when you've got sport versions of all of them except the S60, why are they not alternatives? Why would you rather get like a BMW XM640D or whatever the sod in hell are called. You go to the next size up, you've got the Mercedes E-Class with the BMW 5 Series. You've got the Volvo S90. You've got an Audi A6. Why are all of these being ignored? And then you get into the luxury stuff, where if you're getting like a Lambo Urus or something, why would you not just get like, if you, if you were looking for practicality, an S-Class will do you everything you want. To me, it just makes no sense. If you really wanted something that was fast, practical, something you could put your family in, was big enough to do that, had a decent sized boot and was a little bit fun. What can a Mercedes E63 or E43 estate version not do for you? Why is that ignored? Quite often that's cheaper than something like the GLE or some disgusting thing like that. The BMW M3 in the 80s was the peak of driving fun and that was based upon a saloon design with a drivetrain and a chassis built for a saloon shape. Why would you then ignore that in the modern day? That's literally a prime derivative of where the fun comes from. So when you've got these saloon choices out there that are of similar origin to that and you are looking for a fun car, you can also use every day. When they can seat five, usually have reasonable boot sizes, have an extremely upgraded interior to that of any other brand, and are fun, fast and reliable. I, I just don't understand why they're being ignored. And I don't want to see them go out of production in a couple of years. Well, to be fair, I don't want to see them go electric in a couple of years either, but I don't really have a say in any of that, do I? But I don't have a say in any of this. Then I'm an absolute hypocrite because downstairs I have a bloody white Fiesta. So I don't even have a saloon, so I'm a massive hypocrite.